In this video, we're going to be using Parallels for Mac version 8 to set up and install a virtual machine. The guest operating system I'll be using in the virtual machine is Ubuntu 12.04. However, this pretty much applies whether you're installing Windows or anything else that the Parallels software supports. So Parallels.com is where you get the virtualization software. I've used many different versions out here for Parallels. I've also tried VirtualBox and some of the other ones, VM Fusion. But Parallels, for me, has been the one that's always given me the best performance, the best reliability, and I just find it very easy and very simple to get along with. So that's why I like to use this particular one. So let's go ahead and start here. I'm going to close the browser. So I already have Parallels running here, and ignore what I've got here. This is a previous one that I've got that I use. But I'm going to click here, and notice that I've got my ISO file from the downloaded from Ubuntu here, in this case 12.04.1 and it's the 64-bit version that I'm going to be installing. I'm going to click here and go New. In the box that appears I'm going to make sure that I've got selected Install Windows or another OS from DVD or image file. I'm going to hit Continue. It's going to ask me for that file so I'm just going to say choose an image file and go to the one on my desktop and say Ubuntu. There it is. I'm going to hit continue. It's going to ask me if it wants to do an express installation and set up a user for me in that operating system. I would actually don't like to do it that way. I like to do it in the operating system. So I'm going to uncheck that and hit continue. It's going to ask me for a name. It's going to ask me whether I want to share this virtual machine with other users. Since I'm the only user on this Mac, it really doesn't matter whether I check this box or not, but I like to leave it unchecked anyway. It's going to ask me for a location on the system where I want to put the file. That is, It's basically one really big file is what your virtual machine is. In my case, I have, I'm have. i going to put it at this location here, so I'm going to leave it alone. But I am going to check this box down here, Customize Settings Before Installation. And in a second, you'll see what that does. I'm going to hit Continue. So notice this appears, and this is because I hit that, that customization box. I, I checked it here, and this gives me a chance to set some options. So I'm going to choose four CPUs. My machine actually has eight gig of RAM, so I'm just going to drag this up to three because I like some extra performance here. There's not much that I change. I'll go through the other options here quickly and show the ones that I like to change. Advanced, I'm going to leave alone. I'm going to start at the top here. On shutdown, rather than keeping the window open for the virtual machine, I wish that they would change the default on this because my view is that if I'm closing down a virtual machine, I'm probably done with it and I just want it to go away. So I don't need that window left afterwards to close. So I'm going to change this to close window. Optimization, I'm going to leave alone. All these other ones here. The one that I, I check here is isolate Mac from Linux. I don't like to share my applications or my files between the virtual machine and my host, which is the Mac. So I'm going to check that here, not because I believe there's any problems with it or anything like that. It's just a personal preference that I like to isolate them. Now, because I've done that, notice that down here, sharing applications, they're now disabled because I've isolated the two machines. Um, back up here, if you don't want Time Machine to back up the virtual machine, you can check that here. And the rest of these, I make sure that I use Mac OS X full screen is set and modality is set here and of course the advanced we've already seen hardware i don't change anything on so i'm okay with all of these so i'm now just going to close that it's going to give me a quick review of the changes that i've made here it's not actually going to take up 64 gig of space it's going to take up as much space as it needs and that size will grow over time to a potential of 64 gig so that's what that's saying there so with all these options set i'm just going to hit continue and now you'll see that what's happening here, it's starting the standard boot from that CD, that virtual CD, the ISO file. So if I was installing on an actual machine rather than a virtual machine, everything else here from here on out is exactly the same. The actual operating system that I'm installing, this Linux here, doesn't know that it's a virtual machine and it doesn't really care. So it's just normal from here on out. So I'm going to go with English and I'm just using the keyboard to navigate there. I'm going to go down with the arrow key and say install Ubuntu. So it's going to start booting the machine and start the install. So you can see the installer starting here. So 
So I'm going to go ahead with these options. I'm going to say English. It's analyzed my setup here and everything's passed, except I am going to say download the updates for the operating system while installing. I hit continue. Now, don't panic when you see this. It's going to say erase disk and install Ubuntu. It's not going to erase your Mac hard drive. What it's actually doing is it's going to erase your virtual machine hard drive. So it's perfectly safe. So with all that done, I'm going to say install now and it's going to start installing for me. Now that it's started installing the files, we can go through and set some options here. I'm going to say Chicago for my time zone. English US is fine for my keyboard. Now this is where I'm going to set up my user. So I'll just put in my name here, a name for my machine. The default is fine. My username it's got there and I'm going to put in a password. It's up to you if you want to password protect your virtual machine. I do just in case you never know. Um, because I am in an environment most of the time where other people do have access to my machine if they need it. So I like to password protect my virtual machine. I'll hit continue. It'll ask for a picture. I'm just going to choose one of those ones there and hit continue. That's just the avatar picture for your user account. And now you'll get the slideshow telling you all about Ubuntu 12.04. At this point, you can just leave the machine to do its thing. So now that it's finished, this dialog box appears saying that it needs to reboot the system. Now we're going to go ahead and click restart now. But before we do that, I want to show you something that's important. At the moment, my mouse, my keyboard are working with this virtual machine that I've set up. If I move my mouse up to the top of the window here and try to move it out, you can see that I can't go any further, even though I'm still trying to drag up with the mouse. That's because the virtual machine has captured the keyboard and the mouse. And that's something that we take care of when we install the Parallels tools. But since we don't have those yet, we have to manually get control of the mouse and the keyboard back to the host operating system on the Mac. So if you notice this message down here, to do that, all you need to do is hold down Control and hit Alt. And that's going to give me back, if you look here, you can see that I'm moving my Mac mouse cursor, but the one for the Linux system is stuck there. That's because I've now regained control back in my main operating system with the mouse and the keyboard. So I just wanted to show you that because once this starts rebooting, you may find that you can't operate your mouse and that's going to be why. So I'll just click back in the window to get back to my virtual machine and I'll click restart now. And now I'm going to hit control and alt to give control back to my main operating system so I can move this window down here for you to see it. So you can see this happens. Now, this happens to me quite a lot, I've noticed. And it's nothing to do with parallels, I don't believe. I've noticed that when I install Linux, in particular this Ubuntu one, it goes to this situation where it tries to shut down after installing, and it can't do it. Um, I don't know why that happens, but it does. But it's very easy to get to fix, because what you do is you can just click on here and say shut down. That's the same as hitting the power button on a normal machine. Um, so in our case, we're going to do it again here and say shut down and that's powering down the virtual machine. And so you can see it on the list here now, Ubuntu Linux. And to start up this new machine, anytime you start parallels, all you need to do is hit the power button and it's going to go ahead and start that virtual machine. As you can see there, it starts booting up. Now what's going to happen as it comes up here, um, if you've got a big screen size like I do, you may see the window jump around a little bit um, and I'm just going to use a keyboard shortcut that I have here to center the screen back to a size. And so that's what I've got here. That's just a thing on my machine. That's not a requirement for this at all. So I'm going to click inside the virtual machine to give control to the mouse. Click on here and enter my password for the user. Press return. And now I'm logging in to the account on the virtual machine. And you can see that we have our install of Ubuntu. So the first thing I always like to do whenever I do this is go up here and say software up to date and get it to go and find check for any updates that may be out there that I need to install. So there's quite a few in this case. I'm going to say install updates. It's going to ask for my user password. And it starts downloading the updates. Now this is going to probably take a while. So we'll skip ahead on the video here. Again, and if at any time during this process you want to go and do something else on your Mac, 
you can use the control and the alt key to return the mouse and the keyboard to your main operating system the mac while this virtual machine is just running in the background so you can see i've got my mac cursor here and i can carry on and do something else while it applies those updates and i do this quite a lot once we've installed the tools we won't have to worry about this one of the things on the parallels tools that is nice is once you've installed them you can move your mouse and your keyboard uh, but in this case the mouse you can move it in and out of your virtual machine window uh, back to your operating system so you can click say an icon on your Mac desktop and then click an icon inside the virtual machine and it's just seamless you just move the mouse in click and away it goes so that's one of the nice things about the parallels tools along with some of the other drivers that they install and that kind of thing but I really do recommend you install them because it's really going to help you out and save you some time and some aggravation. So you can see that it's finished here. It's asking me to restart the machine, the virtual machine. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the restart now here. I'm going to log in. I'll click on the window here to give focus back to the mouse within the machine. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install the Parallels tools. So I'm going to hit Control alt to release my mouse back to the main operating system. I'm going to go up to the menu here and choose Virtual Machine, Install Parallels Tools. And then I'll click in the window. Now once you select that option on the menu, you're going to see this window appear. And this is the tools that you need to install. And I'm going to show you how I like to do this. I'll go up to the Dash Home here and I'll start typing Terminal. And you'll see it appear here. I'll just click on this. I'm going to move this window over here so you can see them both and what I'm going to do I'm going to do CD space which is change directory and I'm just going to take this parallel tools click on here and I'm just going to drag it over and then release the mouse and then I'm going to click on this window again and now when I hit return it's going to change me to that location basically I dragged that location over here into the terminal window to save me typing it out if I list the files you'll see it's the same location here so now I'm going to type sudo dot slash install which will run the installer it'll ask for my password and this window appears now you can pretty much just skip on through this I'm going to use the space key to go next space key to go next again and then the space key to go next and finally it'll start downloading from the internet the files that it needs to install and install them as it goes so you just have to sit and wait for this to finish again it's dependent upon the speed of your machine and the speed of your internet connection so now that that's finished we can hit space again to say reboot the virtual machine and i'm going to hit for the last time Control alt to escape the mouse back to the host operating system so after it's rebooted i'm going to enter my password here for my user You'll probably see the window size jump around a little. I'm just going to make it a size that I need here. And that's it. We've, we've now finished installing the tools and the virtual machine operating system, and we are complete, ready for you to start using it. Notice now that I've installed the tools, if you watch the cursor here, I can automatically move between the virtual machine and out into my desktop on my Mac here without having to click or press any keys it's now seamless so that's one of the benefits of installing those tools we can now just click between the two um, basically treat the virtual machine as if it's just another window within the Mac that you can click on and use the tools so that's basically how you install the virtual machine operating system and again in this case it was Ubuntu Linux 12.04.1 the 64-bit version and the reason I use that one is I actually use this as my web development platform so in some other videos, we'll be installing some web development tools and some servers and some things like that. But this is how you install, you know, Linux, Windows, whatever it may be. It's the same process in Parallels, and that's how you do it. Be sure to visit uibuzz.com for more videos, and we'll see you again soon.